Yeah. So I think all of it, I think, you know, doing the exercises, doing the questions, um, studying the chart, and then also being in the field and, and dealing with real life situations is helping it all to, to click and become clear. So good job on that. So keep going. Um, so how do you win the game before you play? And you guys can see my screen, right? Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. All right. So basically what the professional was really all about is how to become the person that act, it's 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 an art and science high science of goal achievement basically goal setting and goal achievement okay and then basically just figuring out who do you need to be right so this is part of the metaphysical uh the metaphysics okay so when you have an idea or let's just say you know we've all been fat we've all lost weight we've all been different shapes and sizes right so let's just say that when you were like 15 pounds lighter, right? Maybe you had more energy and you were vibrating, vibrating at a certain frequency that now these frequencies you can't necessarily see. Subconscious mind and other senses can pick them up, but people can feel your energy. You can feel that you have more energy. You can feel that you wake up lighter. Or you can feel when you're heavier, your clothes are tighter and your body feels uncomfortable, right? Or that's one example. Uh, or let's say you've been on a vacation or you were at an event where you felt really good. You were just, the energy was good. The company was good. Like money was good in your pocket. Like you just didn't feel like you had a care in the world. So if you were to think about that image, and this is what I'm saying, the power is, is in the image, whatever that you want or whatever you think about has a certain vibration and a frequency. Okay. <clears throat> so all you have to do is let's say that your goal is to go to um, a tropical island or your goal is to have something that's weighing you down paid off, right? So when you think about whatever it is that you want, there's a certain frequency that, that's vibrate. So you're, it's already there, basically. So if you understand quantum mechanics, uh, which basically is just like the science of all possibilities, in, in the theory of quantum mechanics, right, it just says that Every possibility of you is existing. So the skinny you, the heavy you, the rich you, the broke you, the poor you, the every possibility of you is existing all at the same time. Which the reason why one of those possibilities is coming into reality is because that's what you're actually focused on and you're observing. Okay, so every potential possible scenario of you in your life, whether to what degree of success, to what degree of failure, to what degree of health or whatever, all of those worlds are operating concurrently simultaneously right now right the one that you're in is just the one that you're observing and focusing on so that's the one that you popped into and that's what you're experiencing but it, but in order for you to get to the other one it's already happening so it's not like it doesn't exist you just have to get yourself from this reality to that reality right and so the reality that you want has a certain vibration and a certain frequency all you have to do is raise your vibration and frequency to match that vibration and frequency. And then you actually travel there just like that. So that goes back to what we we're talking about, cleaning up your gut, changing your diet, fasting, right? <clears throat> Detox teas, like all these different things, raise your vibration and your frequency, the company that you keep, right? The movies that you watch, the music that you listen to, right? How you, what, what brings you up and what brings you down? Okay, so this is more of the behind the scenes, the energetic metaphysical science of that. The actual physical application is what we're talking about, you know, is making the phone calls and strategizing and all that stuff. So if you combine raising your vibration up, that's actually what is the most important thing is these exercises are designed to help you raise your energy up, your believability. So that's why we would talk about how do you win the game before you play, right? This all starts in your goals. All of your power is in your ability to originate deals. That's what the brokers want. They want people who can bring deals to the table. That's what you want. You want to, you want to be able to start deals and, and, and you want to complete them and you want to structure them and you want to close them, right? So who has the most power in this, let's just say inside of this box of residential real estate? You have the buyer, you have the seller, you have the banks, you have the brokers, you have the real estate agents, you have the investors. Let's just say, you know, there's a few other people in there inside of there too, right? Where's all the power at? Who feeds everybody else? The person that originates I mean, yeah, the business. You, I mean, uh, yeah, us, us, we have that power. Well, no, you only have that power if you execute that power. 
it's, it's potential power, but you have to know where the power is at, right? If you have a, if you have a knife, a feather, a gun, right, and a water gun, right, it's not that you have the power. What has the power is, is the tool that you, whatever, if, if it has power, whatever you apply it to will then have power, right? So for example, uh, let's just say uh, if, you, if you have a gun, right, let's say you have a scrawny little dude, 100 pounds, you know, real short, doesn't, you know, but if you put a gun in his hand, the gun has power. So then the, the scrawny little dude that's short and has no strength, all of a sudden starts to have power. And if you give that same gun to a woman, then she would have power. If you gave that gun to something else, it would have power, right? So you have to know where the power is so that you can tap into the power. And what I'm saying is the one that has the power in this box of retail residential real estate is the one who can originate the deals. That's why I don't believe in paying the brokers anything or a portion of your commission unless they're helping you originate the deals. If you have a broker, I think like Lamar, like they're spending a lot of money. So I, I have no problem with him paying a cut. And he actually got a, a, a very favorable um, increase in, in his commissions now. Actually, a, a really good one, right? But before they weren't paying him hardly anything. And they were spending, you know, all the money to generate the lead. So he didn't really have to do any origination. And that's what I'm working on with him is that in order for him to get out of the trap of being a slave, because every time a potential lead comes in, he can't rest because he feels like he needs to go out because it could be a potential deal. But that's not how you run your business. Now you're just a slave to your business, right? If you can just structure one deal by originating it and structuring it the way that you want and you make $73,000 on there, you don't have to jump every time a new lead comes in because they're spending so much money and then you have to feel like you don't know you're not in control of your business that's why i said we have it all all of this starts in the mind of your goals what is your goal lamar thinks he needs to make five hundred thousand dollars i promise you don't need to make five hundred thousand dollars there's no reason to even think that you need five hundred thousand dollars but because the mind's not trained and it's not focused like what Vanessa was talking about earlier, we society has made us believe that the, the actual goal that you're supposed to be focusing on is making more money and it has nothing to do with making more money. It has to do with what gives you energy. What do you really want? Because you, you, you make 500,000, but you don't know what you really want. So you keep jumping at the opportunity to make more money. And what is money? Money ain't nothing, if you, if you understand what money is, right? Money is currency and mo money is emotions, right? So money is energy in motion. So what are we talking about? If I said, boom, you're getting a check for $2 million, you just won the lottery. How much energy and emotion are you gonna have? You're not gonna be able to sleep because you can have all this energy all of a sudden. When you cash a deal and you get you know $40,000, $30,000, life-changing type of, Money, what the money does is it gives you energy to make options and what you do with the money is determines how you feel about everything. So if you got a check for the night, and that's why I hate Vegas, I would see people work for two weeks straight doing construction, doing this, doing this, and then they would go to casinos, hustle people, and they say, if you come and cash your check, if you come and cash your payroll check, you know, we'll give you this, we'll give you drinks for free and we'll get, you know, get a room and you'll get this. And they know that you're going to start gambling your check away. And you literally have people that work 80 hours, 90 hours, 100 hours, lose your check in four, four or five hours. And then now these people are on the road and they're pissed off because why? Because they're, it's not the money that they got. It's the experience that they did with, with the money. So all of your goals has nothing to do with the money. It has to do with what do you want to experience this is where all your energy comes from so the mass the origination and your attraction comes from you being clear on what it is that you really want and then the more you, we're going to talk about this because we, we haven't really been working on this but the the real process is really just refining and improving the strategy for achieving your goals now roland has been on it because he i said a couple things and he's like oh I like that strategy about, you know, instead of putting 200,000, you know, invest 30,000 into the credit and then getting the, a business line of credit. So like that gave him energy, right? But all of that really is, is just, it's improving and refining the strategy to achieve a goal. 
Now, when you're thinking and strategizing and refining your goals, what you're also doing is, as Vanessa's reading in The Power of the Subconscious Mind, the more you're thinking about how to achieve your goal, and that's exactly what you're doing with this potential buyer. See, I'm, I'm, I, want, I want you guys to understand that the, the power is in the principles. It's not in the how, it's just understanding what, what the principles are for you to tap into. So the power of the subconscious mind, the power of programming your subconscious mind, the power of manifesting and attracting and achieving your goals is you investing time and energy into how to achieve those goals and coming up with different and better strategies. And the more you're thinking about different and better strategies is telling the subconscious mind in the universe that you actually believe it's possible and that it's going to come to you. Because if you didn't believe it was possible, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even think about strategy because you're like, what's the point? What's, what's the point of me figuring out what I'm going to do with $50,000 in the next 90 days because I don't even think it's possible. So why would I even start planning? Why would I even start looking at strategies? So the more you plan and strategize, the more energy that you get, the more in, your belief increases and the more your believability increases. And then the more energy you get to do what you need to do to make your, your, your goals come together. That's what I'm saying. Like when you, when you do this correctly and you already, that's why I said, if you look right here, how to win the game before you play, right? It all begins master origination. This is where all the power is, okay? But all what makes you attractive and, and where you get the ability to, to originate comes from, begins in the mind of your goals, okay? Now, the, the, but in order for you to win before you play, you must feel like you've, you're already the winner before you start. And that's what, I'm, that's what I'm explaining to you with the chart. So once you understand the four right angles and you put them in order, as you master each one of those angles, now you're like, oh, I understand exactly what I need to do. You, now you know the math. You know exactly what the deal needs to look like. You know exactly who your perfect.